All right, YouTube. Um, in this video, I want to give y'all my number one rule for leveling up. All right. A lot of people would mistake what I be doing and what I be saying for bragging, things like that. I'm like, I'm not bragging. All right. I'm teaching. All right. So I have to tell you certain things for you to know the things I'm trying to tell you. So like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we're going to get right into it. Not my number one rule for me leveling up. Everybody seen me leveled up. You seen me transform in front of your eyes if you've been watching for a long time. If you haven't, those videos are still up. Uh, Rapid Time Fitness Transformation, Rapid Time Fitness Before and After, things like that. You, you see the, the gains, the strength gains, the muscle gains, the weight loss, the, all of that. You know, going from gut to cut, going from, you know, getting six pack abs and all you see it right in front of your eyes all right um but we ain't talking about that we're talking about how i did it how to level up um myself included i catch myself even to this day but my old self i was terrible at it most beginners are terrible at it and what is that one thing acting 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 like you're on a certain level will not put you there. You cannot get to a certain level just by acting like it, all right? You know, you hear um, fake it till you make it, I guess, right? Fake it till you, that matter of fact, that's the title of this video. Fake it till you make it. Acting like you're on a certain level will not put you there. Um, There's a lot of guys. I just left the gym. There's a lot of guys that was in the gym acting like they was on my level not tooting my own horn i took some of those guys to the side and told them i went in the gym it's uh it's 10 o'clock right now p.m i went in the gym at seven o'clock um breaking my whole demeanor of who i am and my identity um uh, in the gym my identity in the gym is a solo dolo silent but deadly like a fart <laughs> yeah man and that's my that's my identity man i'm like batman you know, I roll solo. Well, Batman got Robin and Catwoman and Batgirl and a few other. But for the most part, he rolls solo, all right? I'm like a dark ring duck. I don't give. But now, um, all jokes aside, man, um, I am solo. I live by myself. I don't recommend it for everybody. I don't use spotters. I don't need help. It's me against the weights. Um, a gym partner is cool, but understand that it doesn't matter if you go in there with a whole group of guys or girls or whatever you're still by yourself when it's time for you to perform your weights you're by yourself if you need help they can assist you but they should not be assisting you with every rep because you're you're, you're leaving gains on the table you're leaving strength gains and muscle gains on the table now tips and who if you got a person who knows more than the other person advice and things like that that's cool you know i'm not a beginner i don't need that I've, I've been doing this for a minute but what made me think of this topic was on this guy i told him about my channel a long time ago he watched it but he got cocky he was like yeah it's good to watch somebody that's a little bit above me i'm like bro no no don't even do that man because people have unrealistic goals and they have an unrealistic um sight of they got unrealistic an unrealistic mindset of what bodybuilding powerlifting and, and what to expect from just going to the gym getting it in and working out is you know you see all these guys on the internet you see all these guys in movies you see all these bodybuilders and all these and women too you know what i'm saying the majority of these people are not natural they have enhancements they're enhancement performing enhancement drugs they're on SARMs, they have implants, they have they have uh fake abs and, 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 and surgeries and you know they, they uh they got liposuction and, and all kinds of different things that make them look the way they look. You know what I'm saying? And also people have been lifting for years. You know, don't don't I'm not taking away from nobody because you still gotta put in hard work. So people come to the gym, dude was like, man. It's good to learn from somebody who, who is a little bit above my level. 
Like, bro, you don't even deadlift 200 pounds, bro. I deadlift almost 300, I mean, three times that much on a good day. <laughs> Two and a half times that much on a bad day. You don't bench press even 200 pounds. You see me almost bench press 400 pounds before. Not tooting, bragging, or nothing like that. But I'm saying, like, people will hear those numbers and think that I'm supposed to be this mass monster. I'm natural. I'm natural. So when you're natural, you can't expect the same results. You're not going to look like Big Ramy or Chris Bumstead or whoever your favorite YouTube influencer is. You're not. You're not going to look anything like them. And plus, even let's say you follow somebody who's natural, like myself. We have different genetics. We have a different work ethic. We have a different amount of time that we've been doing this. It's like, okay, at my job, I've been there for 10 years. And I'm very good at my job. For Not because I'm better than anybody. It's just the fact that I have more experience. Same thing in the gym. I've been in, in the gym for nine years. I have more experience than somebody who's been in the gym since New Year's. It's only February. It's about to be March. I tell beginners all the time, you should not be worried about being as strong as you possibly can all the time. You're not going to be strong as you can all the time. Nobody is. Not even the strongest man in the world is going to lift the same amount of weight every day. Me, myself, I just said all my numbers that I've been doing or have done in the past, they go up and down, all right? Um, with weight loss, uh, weight gain, um, time, uh, consistency, time off. Um, if the gym closed for a long time, like it did, everybody know what happened when the gyms was closed. A lot of people made the mistake of coming back to the gym. People that were stronger than me came back to the gym, stronger than me because they was on stuff. Also, people that were heavier than me. Of course, I'm going to have to say that. <laughs> pound for pound, you already know. But, uh, <laughs> in natural status, you already know. All right. So, what I'm trying to say is, don't try to conquer the world every day. If you see um, in my videos, sometimes I lift 500 pounds on a deadlift. Sometimes I lift <laughs> less. You know, sometimes I lift significantly less. You're going to have days like that. You're going to have days where you got it. You're going to have days where you don't. Now, okay, let's say um, you shouldn't be maxing every day. But let's say I want to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. So I get to 530, 545. 600 pounds eventually yeah that's my goal before the year is over i want 600 pounds on a deadlift right i'm not going to be able to get there if i keep pushing myself to the point where i'm getting injured you know a lot of people think that's already what i'm doing but it's not all right i know my limits all right it's just like anything else you've been doing for a long time if you had a job for a long time and you know your job you know your role. You know how to get the production or, or, or the sales or whatever you're into. Whatever your job is. If you know how to bring in customers, if you know how to satisfy customers, if you're a masseuse and you get the job done, if you're a, a salon, hair barber, doesn't matter. If you know your job and you're very good at it, guess what? It, what you got to remember what, what, how you got there. Most barbers who are really good at cutting hair been cutting hair for years it's the same thing just like if you're really good at basketball nine times out of ten you probably been playing for years it's just like when you was a baby you had to grow up and learn things tie your shoes it's the same exact thing all right yeah mo am i right no yeah but yeah, man, that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Nobody listens to me, though. I'm just some guy on the internet. I'm just some guy on the internet, huh, Mo? Yeah, man. But uh, that's all I got to say, man. You want to say something? Want to say comment? Like? Subscribe? Share? Peace? Say peace? Say comment, like, subscribe, share, peace? <laughs> Hit that button right there. Right there, that one.